first we will uh, talk about down milling you can see the cutter rotation is like this and the table movement is like this so when we say table movement it is relative movement of table in some cases the table will be moving and in some cases the tool will be moving so when the relative moment of tool is this way the relative moment of table will be this way so irrespective of what actually moves we are looking at the relative moment so when the cutter moment and the relative moment of the table is in the same direction it is down milling now you can see here the chip thickness is high at the beginning of the cut and then it gradually reduces now we will look at up milling so in up milling the cutter rotation is like this it is the same and the relative moment of tool is this direction so the same way relative moment of table would be this way now you can see that the chip is thinner in the beginning and thicker in the end so now if we talk about relative moment of table so the relative moment of table is this way and the cutter moment cutter rotation is this way so it is opposite in direction then it is up milling so the chip thickness is less in the beginning and high in the end of the cut so this is how the down milling happen and if you look at the tool compensation it is tool at left so always down milling it will be g41 so because the cutter rotation in most of the cases remain clockwise so the tool at left for down milling it will be always g41 and tool at left in rare cases you would see the other way but most of the cases in down milling it will be g41 and here is up milling so this is tool at right this is again in most of the cases we are talking about the tool rotation is clockwise and g42 tool at right is applicable for up milling this is up milling so you can see the chips the chips which are cut is again coming in between the tool and the surface and then whereas in down milling whatever chips are cut it is thrown away and then the result is a clean surface so a comparison of down milling and up milling so here the chip thickness is high in the beginning and smaller in the end of the cut for down milling whereas in up milling the chip thickness is smaller in the beginning and thicker in the end 
Here, the cutter rotation and relative movement of table is in the same direction, whereas in up milling, it is in the opposite directions. What happens in down milling and what happens in up milling? Which is preferable? In CNC, down milling is always preferable because we have already seen the surface is better in down milling and then when the rigidity of clamping is better so the chip thickness is higher in the beginning of the cut and smaller in the end of the cut in this case the heat generated in the cut most of the heat is taken away by the chip whereas in up milling since it is gradually getting engaged the whatever heat is generated most of the heat is passed on to the workpiece and the cutter and only very less is passed carried away by the chip that is why down milling is always preferable in CNC machining applications. CNC machines are rigid and most of the cases where the clamping rigidity is there and the machine rigidity is there available, then down milling is preferred. In very rare cases where the clamping rigidity is less, up milling can produce desired result. Here it is an impact load. So there is an impact when the chip is started. Whereas here being a gradual cut, the impact is very less. But this is used only when the clamping rigidity is very less. In most of the cases, down milling is preferable. So the major advantage is chip carrying away most of the heat generated. So you can see the chip shape here, thick in the beginning and thinner in the end. Here, thin in the starting, thicker in the end for the cut.